Introverted feeling is a set of personal, internal convictions about whether something is right or wrong. Now, as you think about that, it seems on one hand that churches could be quite receptive to people that are passionate about what is correct, uh, what is uh, noble. And those people can often function as reminders of what we believe in. And those people can often function as a conscience. If a group has grown too bureaucratic or too uh, formulaic, and thus be of great benefit to groups of God's people. Introverted feeling, I think, is often of great value for those that create uh, spiritual, sacred art. Um, there is probably some extent to which Christian music is used to grab and hold together people's extroverted feeling in a combined experience, but I think just as likely when you're hearing a person's convictions. Um, we may resonate with the Psalms of David, but he is absolutely speaking forth his individual subjective reality and his convictions about things. However, there is a way in which introvert feeling can manifest itself in a way that is not nearly as well received. Now I think if you have someone who is culturally kind of already built in to think the way that a church thinks, um, individual conviction is not necessarily that much of a problem. But I would say if you have an N, especially an NT, who is reading the word for themselves, asking difficult questions. They could arrive at a set of convictions that are entirely biblical, and yet somewhat at odds with the way that your individual church functions. Um, let me throw some examples at you being a third function introverted feeler myself. There is no verse in the Bible that says you have to take a defendable stance upon the difference between Calvinism and Armenianism. Armenianism. There is no verse that says that, that you have to get involved in that. You're getting involved in that because you like the conflict. There is no verse that says the leaders of churches have to be called pastors. This is tradition. This is the ways that churches have chosen to govern themselves. Govern themselves. It is not definitive biblical doctrine. It's okay if you do, but there's nothing that says you have to. I believe when churches have their giving public, it is about virtue signaling and about monitoring behavior. Because the Word of God also says, when you give, let your giving be in, be in secret. Don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. I grew up in a place where the giving was in the back of the room in a box. And if it worked out right, everybody's facing the other direction. If you happen to open the box and drop in your tithe. And this is the only church I've ever been a part of where there was always a consistent overage. And a quarterly meeting where they said, we have more than we intended to have. Who do we bless we didn't plan on blessing this month? But those are all statements that come from my introverted feeling. I've read the word and come to my own convictions. Um, they're not ones I would die for. I think that somebody that has first or second function introverted feeling would more likely put themselves in position to debate, debate those hard with somebody or make a big stand about them. But I just know that those are things I believe to be true. That you could completely throw away the public aspect of tithing. And not try to monitor anybody. Not try to virtue signal anybody. Um, that you could throw out the title pastor. And either go to the word elder. Or start using all five of the fivefold terms. And it would be as biblical as. If not more so.
an example of ways that the church does respond well and does not respond well to introverted feeling as a God-given function. If I have blessed you, encouraged you, or equipped you, please like and subscribe.